such a pleasure to see stocks trading like, well, stocks and not baskets of corn or soybeans. 10,000 baby boomers will turn 65 today and 10,000 more will turn 65 every day for the next decade, including in a couple of years when I will be one of them. <laughs> I'm going to mark my calendar. As the, yeah, <laughs> you better. Uh, as the population ages, healthcare real estate company Well Tower, well positioned as a portfolio of nursing homes, senior housing, and now they have just closed a $4.4 billion deal that they say will help them on their mission to create more low-cost, cost-effective healthcare sites outside of hospitals. Well, our CEO, Tom DeRosa, joins us now. Tom, welcome. Good to have you with us. Thank you, Tyler. So let me make sure I'm understanding what you have just done. You and your joint venture partner, ProMedica, which is a health care provider, right, yes. health system provider, have bought Manor Care, which many people understand is a, a major provider of uh, nursing homes, rehabilitation centers, memory care centers, and so forth. D does this mean that you will combine, where, where do your businesses overlap and will you be closing places or is it all additive? That's a great question. So what this is doing is uh, reimagining the sites in which healthcare will be delivered in the future. So here we go with a um, 13 hospital health system, ProMedica, Pro which is headquartered in Toledo, Ohio. They currently have acute care hospitals in three markets. Northwest Ohio, Southern Michigan, and Indiana. This is propelling ProMedica from a top 50 health system in the U.S. to 15th largest by revenues. And we're doing that without acquiring a lot of hospital real estate. So what this will give ProMedica is uh, 450 sites of care, which might be skilled nursing or post-acute care, rehabilitation, as well as memory care, residential memory care. The overlap with Well Tower is that we today take care of over 200,000 frail to demented elderly every day. We keep them in a model of wellness, which is nutrition, hydration, physical movement, social and cognitive engagement, and safety. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will look to connect our assisted living business with the network manor of Manor Care and now ProMedica to create really a uh, virtual circle around the patient. It's really um, the ability to follow the patient across their health and wellness journey. One of the things that is interesting to me about your business, and it's been a hypothesis of mine for a long time, uh, is that there's a corner of your business that is an insurance business, right? Of ProMedica's business. Of ProMedica's yes. business. Yes, they have so, a company called Paramount. Paramount. So I can buy my health care coverage from them. That's correct. And also my delivery from them. That is correct. And that is like a Kaiser Permanente. It's like UPMC, University of Pittsburgh. It's like Hopkins and so forth. Is that the future where I go one place to buy my insurance that is also the place that owns my medical, the medical practice I frequent, the hospital I go to, the rehabilitation center I go to? I think that is the future. And we call that, we call those health systems pay providers. Mm -hmm. Kaiser was really the, the first of the pay providers. So in this case, the provider can direct the pathway of healthcare when they are the insurer or the payer. And that's what's been very effective about the Kaiser model. And you see that not broadly across the healthcare industry, but you're starting to see more of it across the health system. Would that be good for you or bad for you in the sense that right now you get a percentage of the operations of a provider who's operating one of your facilities? Yes. If it becomes government regulated in some respect, does that then cap the amount that you can capture with that percentage? Well, uh, or... so it's, hard to, it's hard to know. Okay. We don't see this becoming a government reimbursed okay. um, area of, of health care. Mm -hmm. Today it's private pay. Yeah. I mean, Medicare does not pay for assisted living. What we see is the power of connecting our business to the health system more deeply 
because, uh, as Tyler, as you said, the aging of the population. Mm -hmm. We have to figure out how to keep this aging population well. Not The health systems cannot continue to meet that patient in the emergency room. Right. There needs to be a connection yeah. to that patient. So that can happen by being a payer if you're a Medicare Advantage provider. Right. So we're looking to connect our populations more directly with this ProMedica and HCR Manor Care population. Tom, we've got to leave it there. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Deal. Thanks so much. Tom DeRosa of Well Tower. Well, coming up next, making it